Can you give us a clap, John? Excuse me. Do you know anything about this building here? No idea. You know who designed it? So here you go. Brilliant, thanks. Ooh. I feel like a news, a news crew. <laughs> It's very strange because everyone said to me, you can't be an architect, you can't do maths, you don't read enough books. And so I felt inhibited and then I came through a very long route because I, you know, I was 30 when I you know, went to architecture school. So can I press the button yeah, again? Okay. Was it intimidating to design the design museum? Intimidating to design a design museum for designers? <laughs> no, because what you're doing is working with the challenges of the existing space to make the building as comfortable as possible so that people feel good in it, things look good in it, and then it allows people to think about design. I'm very obsessive about architecture. If you make the steps generous, people will sit on them. You know, I like anything that's good. Now, this is the marble that was on the floor in the Commonwealth Institute before. And anything that's not, I'm happy to ignore. I think perfect happiness isn't a state you can, you can ever achieve. I mean, the monks, uh, when I said I wanted to make the monastery perfect for them, they said only God is perfect. I think the, the biggest challenge in these sort of jobs are, are people. I mean, that's what architecture is about, is communication and dealing with hundreds of people. Finishing touches. What would you be resurrected as? <laughs> like a spider. <laughs> I love seeing them coming down, because obviously in a, in a minimal house, spiders stand out quite a lot. You see them as contemporaries? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, yes, they, they might have been architects before. I, I mean, I'm anxious as a person. You know, I'm quite capable of panicking. <laughs> I mean, the greatest compliment I can be paid is if people say, what have you done? Obviously, I don't think the work's good enough. But then if you did, I think you'd be, I think you'd be at fault. It was originally the Commonwealth Institute. It's got a hyperparabola roof on it. I mean, the hyperbolic paraboloid roof allows this extraordinary kind of sail-like quality of the concrete. Exactly. People think that I did the ceiling. Happy to take it. Somebody had written in saying, you've changed my life, you are a genius. <laughs> when you point a camera at some architects, they do actually say that. I am a genius. But you don't have to say it because you've got a letter to prove it. Exactly, it's the English way. <laughs> Remember that guy in Chile that shot his own death? The soldier lifts his gun points it at him, fires, and then the camera just goes. 